So this way, or is it all the way up? Let me let me go all the way up. Is this the one where Cole like fell down the thing? Let me see if it's still up there. I think this is. Yeah, cause look, here's a little wire. Yep, it's the wire that was holding on to the thing. This is where Ko fell down the thing. I wonder who paid for that. I'm pretty sure it was the city. Like, come on. You got me. You got a, a, a cop running around and he jumps on the thing, right? Like, he doesn't even use safety equipment. He jumps on him. And then he, like, why would the city have to pay? That's taxes. Why wouldn't Ko have to pay, huh? I don't care if he works for the cops. He needs to pay for his actions over here. Am I even going the right way? No, this was just a big ass door. I thought this was the way. And I'm, when I said door, I meant window. Oh, it's over there, I think. I see it. I just went to the wrong direction. Yes, do your little jog. Jog over there, my friend. Jog until you can't jog no more. I'd like to see the company details of the Suburban Redevelopment Fund. Certainly, sir. Just this way. You gonna take me? Are you gonna walk me there or what? See, luckily I played this game before, so I know what the hell I'm doing. All those suburban sons of bitches ought to be listed in here. Okay, there you Is it shareholder? Is that what I gotta do? What do I gotta do here? I'm confused. I mean, that's just... How does... Courtney! For God's sake! Why am I going to... Right? What's he got to do with this? My little friend. I'd like information on a plot of land. Okay, friend of the war. The address? Not exactly. It's a new lot. I have the coordinates. 34 degrees, 4 minutes, 29 seconds north. 118 degrees, 17 minutes, 58 seconds west. All right. That makes it a bit more difficult. Come with me. Oh, now you move, huh? I mean, before you were just standing on your desk. I believe that is in the Wilshire area. Four degrees, four minutes, 29 seconds north, 118 degrees, 17 minutes, 58 seconds All right, west. Cool. Let's go to 58, and then, oh, you gotta keep on doing this, okay, this is gonna take a while. <laughs> I don't even remember what it was no more. It was a uh, 118 something something 358.4.29. There you go. Hey. And I'm looking for 118. Oh, 1758. I just kept on going. Point five eight on the longitudinal axis. There you go. The lot number is 18769888. Unfortunately, that is just the beginning. We have at least a million lot numbers in the Los Angeles area. Registrations are in alphabetical order. You need to convert your lot number to a letter. How do I do that? Over here. Use this adding machine. Oh my god. There are 90,000 entries to a book. So you divide your lot number by 90,000. There's so many things to do. 1876988. Eight, eight. <laughs> Divided by 90,000. Yes. 
1876988 I believe and let's go to 988 eight. so many things to do and then we divide 90,000 1 million eight hundred seventy six thousand yes I know dude I know I'm taking my time divided by 90 000. but it's not my fault okay one more that's 90,000 20 20 a starts at zero so you want to add one to your number 21 that number is your letter of the alphabet once you have the letter find the right aisle and you are in business you do this every day? Alright, it's just alright. So it's 21. So it's A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, N, O, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, and Z, L, A, B, L, U. It's U. I did it in my head. Don't worry about it, guys. I got it. I got this all covered down. I'm a beast. That's why I went to school. Let's see what the side is worth to them. Oh, uh, what am I doing? Oh, is it 21? Is that what I gotta look for? 1876988. Okay. What am I looking for here? Oh, it's one here. So it's 1876988. On the other side, I think. There you go. 1876. Book value is 350. With the new home in place, the improved value of the property is 3500. They can make a killing. But how do they pull it off? Just like that. Hey, there's a people that kidnapped me. You know why I pumped for the caddy? The extra trunk space. One thing you learn in the war, boys. You do your talking once the smoke clears. I swear this has to be the Yeah, I can get it from here. You can walk out of here or go out in a box. No choice. I sound like Cole getting shot at. I'm like, oh, I even sounded like his yard too. Okay. Okay. That wasn't my fault. It doesn't even say officer down, it says investigator down. I think that's the first time I died in this game. <sighs> I did not see him. He wasn't shooting at me before, so I figured why not. I figured why not. Know why I pumped for the caddy? The extra trunk space. One thing you learn in the war, boys. You do your talking once the smoke clears. All right, come through. Do it again. Oh, that's good. Get off the thing, dude. Come on. Oi. I got stuck on it. I wonder if I can skip this cutscene. This is taking too long. It should, every time I do this, when, when I'm doing it like a little audience thing, it takes me forever. But when I'm doing it by myself, no. I'm not. I got off the game. You want me? You got me. This asshole. All right, cool. Now I gotta do this. Okay. Looks like he's about to go bald. Throw out the gun. Nope, I I revive some guns, gun wounds. Pick up the hat. I'm gonna put holes in you, asshole. I pick up my hat. Yeah, I know they're shooting at me. Just pick up the hat. It takes like two seconds. You can't pick up the easiest thing ever. What happened to the dude? Did he die? Poor dude. He was helping me out and everything. Let's see if I Weapons can't on the ground, Dad. Boom. Get right, kid. Oh, we just got right. Boom. Oh, I killed him. Wow. Then I looked like I missed everything. Must have been like one little pellet that came through.
Oh now we're at a I need a word, college. Courtney. That's okay, Jack. You, you didn't need to come all the way down. It's here. important, Courtney. How can I help? Tell me about the Suburban Redevelopment Fund. Don't fuck with me, Courtney! Jack, I swear, I don't know what you're talking about. How does your name appear as one of the investors in the Suburban Redevelopment Fund? You're out of your mind. I was down at the Hall of Records checking on a property company called Elysian Fields Developments. Their funding comes from the Suburban Redevelopment Fund. Seriously, Jack, I have no idea. Your name what is, is there, Courtney. About? With some pretty interesting company. The mayor, the district attorney, some dirty cops, and your buddy, Dr. Harlan Fontaine. Dr. Fontaine? Spill it, Courtney. I want all of it. Fontaine and the rest. Fontaine took the morphine off our hands. Look, Jack, I know you said to get rid of it, but it's okay. I did something good for once. He reinvested the money for us. That's it. That's what's happening. They're building houses for GIs, Jack. I turned a mistake into something beneficial. Something that's going to help out the guys. Courtney, they're building matchstick houses. They're going to burn them for the insurance money. They'll probably stiff the poor bastards for the deposits. Please, Jack. Say it isn't so. Harlan's a doctor. A good one. He helps out a lot of people. Looks like he's helping himself, Courtney. You're the fall guy. Things are getting interesting. Oh, now we're at my apartment. Someone's calling me. Who? Who can be calling me at this time? Jack Kelso. Who's asking? Leland Monroe. I was wondering when you'd get around to calling. I'd like to meet with you, Mr. Kelso. I bet you would, Mr. Monroe. But I value my skin highly enough to not want to meet with you. Why don't you just send some more of your boys around and we'll have a nice cup of tea. You realize that I could make you a very wealthy man, Mr. Kelso. Better than $220 a month? You're a very witty man, Kelso. Substantially better. I'm going to have to let it slide, Mr. Monroe. Are you haggling with me, Jack? I might be. Come around to my place at 9. 5164 Santa Monica Boulevard. You come? I might. Good night, Mr. Monroe. Where are we going? Where are we going, Papa? Pa, pa. To meet I can't even say his name right now because I'm going crazy. Is he in my car? Leonard Monroe's mansion. Let's go. Let's get to it. I don't even think this is my car. It doesn't do the little siren. Did the car ever do a siren? I don't think it did. Oh my god, these people are like, can they? Boy, you see me trying to cut through. Let me cut through before you go. Alright, cool. I'm gonna take this out of right here. Now, this is where the fun begins. This is where. Everything happens, guys. The final conclusion of this game is coming up real soon. This is like, what, second to last regular game, at least. I'm not doing the DLC because I don't have them. But if I ever was to get them, I probably will do it. But that's probably not until way down in the future. Maybe I'll never do them. Who knows? I don't have them, so I can't do it. But this game is almost over. Uh, it's a very fun game, even though sometimes, you know, I don't sound fun. But it's fun. I'm having fun playing it. Even though, yeah, I know, right? Even though I'm, I say I'm having fun playing it, it takes me like two months to finally come and play it. But that's because I'm playing like so many other games. Watch it. 
and then I don't even upload the game. Dude, get out! You want to come out? I have a gun. You're gonna get shot at. And I have all these other games I'm playing, and I never upload them. I'm just playing it for my pleasure. So it's, it's getting crazy over here. Just know I have these games playing, and I will come back to it. Don't know when I'll come back to it, but I will come back to mostly every game. Not all of them, but mostly. Mostly the ones I like playing, because some of them are bad, like real bad. We are almost done with this game. We are almost at the mansion too. We are about to get into a shootout. You're gonna talk to him. You're gonna be like, yo, I don't care. And then boom, that's it. That's how it ends. That's how the game ends. I don't care. We're gonna get a clip over, clip over game. And we are at our location. It took us three hours to get here apparently. Four. I did the math in my head real quick. I appreciate the help, all of you. We can reminisce later. I want a minimum of noise and no prisoners. No prisoners? This isn't Pele Lu, Jack. These guys are grifting GIs. That's what they do for a living. It's okay, Jack. We all feel the same way. It just hasn't turned out quite the way we imagined. Let's get it done. Teams of two at the ready. Why does everyone have a cool gun and then I have a pistol over here? I feel like I'm unprepared. Please, they don't even know we're here yet. They shouldn't be... Oh, you're gonna get shot, boy. Go! I gotta pick up that gun. That's a kill. Okay. My aiming is not the best. There you go, there you go. He's not dead yet. How long do you think you can hold out? Good. Dude's up here, dude's up here. That's it. Out of it. Oh, pick up this gun. Yeah, just like in the freaking game. Just like in the movies. Real clever I'm gonna find you. Oh, you shouldn't even you know where I'm at. You just can gun. Almost out. Need a new weapon. Oh, you have a pistol. It's alright. Real clever I'm gonna throw out the gun. Alright, what's your other guns? I need the guns. Okay, is that shit down here? Alright, we got this. We got this, we got this. None of my. None of our people die here, and I don't think they die regardless. But you never know, we gotta be careful. These are military men, did not come here to die in a shootout with a gang. gangsta. Boom. Get wrecked. Boom. These people ain't ready for me. Oh, there's Amal. Knocking down the door. Jack. Very sweet looking girl to be holding such a big gun. I know how to use it, mister. I'm sure you do. So how about pointing it over there in the direction of Hollywood instead of at me, princess? You're quite the wise guy. I don't normally shoot women, princess. How about putting the cannon down? Ah! <sighs> Ooh, I knocked her out. And she got scared too when she shot me. I didn't think you had the guts, sweetheart. I was never very good at reading women. No, that's why you have no girlfriend. That's why Cole gets two people. Monroe, where are you, damn it? Oh, this mansion is big. Put the weapon down now. This mansion's hella big. Let me get that gun. This mansion's like, oh my god, we went into one house and I think it had already. This is his second story. You're dead, alright, you come on. Oh, you're not dead? 
Why you pick up your hat then? But when I told you to pick up your hat back in the office, you didn't want to. Come out. Just come through. I don't care which way you come through. Christ. Just missed. That's it. Out of ammo. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Huh. He said no prisoners. I think he's dead. Let's pick up his weapon. Let's go this way. Let's go into his door. Yeah, Kelso. That's my opening negotiating position. Oh, you crazy son of a bitch! How did you get in here? Are you not hear all the gunshots? To death. Get me a doctor. I thought I had an invitation, Monroe. Your boys outside were certainly expecting me. That's my second offer. You sadistic bastard. What do you want? I'm going to take a look around, Monroe. Then I want you to tell me what you know about the mayor and those Trojan houses that you're building. All right, cool. What do we got in here? Some sold up. The others obviously didn't know the links these sons of bitches would go to. What we got in this safe, huh? You didn't have a gun here. How are you gonna kill Shumi? That's a hell of a payroll. The dude didn't even have a gun, so like what was the whole point of coming through here? Was he gonna burn some evidence? I'm guessing Benson's portfolio is only a fraction the size of yours, Monroe. Yeah, I'm not reading all this. You guys can go suck it. I'll go super slow so you guys can read it. Smart. Keep the dirt on Fontaine under lock and key. This is your insurance. <laughs> no, we got a newspaper here. We got a newspaper. I didn't think there was going to be one here. Uh, Suburban Redevelopment Fund promises 10,000 new homes. It promises that many. Why would anybody get on top of that, you know? Like, I can see how. Dr. Fontaine, I need to speak with you urgently. Sit down. Please, sit down. Tell me about the Suburban Redevelopment Fund. It's the fund we are using to channel money into the development of new house. Why is my name on the board of managers? Technically, you are a major contributor. Please call me. Those houses are a sham, Doctor. They're going to be burned for the insurance. That's a scandalous allegation, Corbin. Do you have any proof? Jack Kelso, an investigator for California Fire and Light, has seen it. He was almost killed when he found out. I don't know what to say. You know, that face I moving that back there looked kind of weird. Who do you think is behind this subterfuge? Jack says it's a property developer named Monroe. He said it goes all the way to the mayor. You cannot have believed that I was involved. Come on, you didn't see that? I don't know what to believe anymore, Doctor. I hope that you weren't involved. Thank you for your trust, dear boy. Be still, Courtney. All of your troubles are finally over. Let them go. Let them drift away.
What do we got? Do we got everything here? All right, all right, I feel like I heard a gunshot. Oh yeah, I forgot one. I forgot one thing on the desk. I totally forgot. It was two. I could have moved it. It was the picture. The Suburban Redevelopment Fund. Remind me what they say about absolute power, Monroe. Fuck you, Jack. Oh, call me an ambulance already. It can't yeah. be stopped, Council. There's too much money at stake. Kingdoms rise and kingdoms fall, Monroe. Ask the Emperor of Japan. Have some fucking mercy! Operator, put me through to Phelps, arson squad. Yeah, Biggs, it's Jack. I'm at Monroe's. He's in a talkative mood. If you get here in a hurry, you might get something before he bleeds to death. <coughs> Elsa. Oh, thank God. Where? Fontaine. Dead? Home of patience. <laughs> so that crazy son of a bitch finally came back for a checkup. It's Monroe. He's raving. You want information, cocksucker. You get me some medical help. I've got to go, Herschel. Monroe's negotiating again. Do you want my final offer, Leland? Tell me how I find the guy who has Elsa. Not Casey. He did whatever Fontaine asked. He had some kind of power over him. He, he, he did all the fires and then a he went off the rails. Roll. I don't have a fucking name. He worked as a bug sprayer. Get me a goddamn doctor. I mean, he's still over there. I mean, you could have just walked in, my friend. Not walk it, but you know, like a little, little slide you were doing, a little slide. That's five. That's that's weak. That's weak damage. Yeah, that's five. That is five. I wonder if we get a little backstory too. I think we do. I think of all three of them. Now we get a backstory. Good morning, doctor. And a good no, morning to you too, Elsa. You look radiant. Thank you, doctor. We haven't been seeing much of you lately, Elsa. You've been missing appointments. I'm sorry, Doctor. I've been feeling much better. That's very good to hear. And what has brought about this improvement? It's the new man in my life. He's convinced me to fight my addiction. Ah, the policeman from the newspapers. How has he coped with his fall from grace? He can finally see things from a human perspective, rather than the ivory tower he created for himself. It's making him stronger. It's making me stronger help. You wouldn't make a bad analyst yourself, Elsa. Should we swap seats? <laughs> We're both finding we have a lot That's a weak fun. joke. And what is that? In my case, Blue. He went through hell along with me and still came out smiling. In Cole's case, his friend, Jack Kelso. Kelso? You've heard of him? No, uh... I just like the sound of his name. Cole and Jack are working on that case together. Is Jack a policeman too? No, he works for the district attorney. What? He's a special investigator. I thought you didn't know him. I have never met the gentleman in question. He has been looking into Lou's case. Cole thinks it might be linked to some fires he's investigating. So she just came to the doctor and started giving him everything? Lou, hey, uh, doctor. It's cold in here, Elsa. I think I'll close the window. I think I'll open the window, closes the door. Oh no, he said he was cold. That doesn't make sense, never mind. Why are you looking at me like that, Elsa? You arranged for Lou to work at Elysian Fields, Doctor. Your fears are unfounded. I meet many people in my line of work. There are many ways that people can be helped. Finding them work is just one of them. I don't believe you, Doctor. I 
never seen you with Munro at that club. I'm sorry that you have come to that conclusion, Elsa. I've always so enjoyed our conversation. <laughs> Ooh, uppercut. I can see your future, Elsa. And Cole, the policeman. And Jack, the investigator. It's an unfortunate and grisly end. <laughs> Looks fake. Oh my god. I've come to help you, Doctor. To help you cross over. All your sins will be forgiven. The next life. Wow. And now we are on a different, entirely different thing now, but I must say goodbye. So guys, this is Little Spook talking. This is Little Spook getting away from all you motherfuckers. Now guys, don't forget to subscribe, like me on Facebook, follow me on Twitter, do all that shit that is necessary to do. And I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching.